What's going on everybody? It's Warhawk and welcome to Nerf Talk. We got a video for you here because we have another blaster. Well, I don't even really know if this is a blaster, but we have another Nerf uh, thing coming into the collection. Uh, the reason why I'm saying I don't know if it's a blaster, that's because it's the new Nerf Rip Rocket. Yes, that's right. Nerf has a new bow out. Now here's the thing. I'm not really sure if this actually acts like a bow. You know how you would pull on the string and then your arrow would fly, right? Um, this one I'm reading here is saying that it's spring powered. So I'm not really sure what that means, but it looks like a bow, right? But I guess the only way to find out is we're going to have to get this out of the box and check it out. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so we got everything out of the box and uh, you're going to get your instructions. Um, you're going to get three of these very cool looking arrows. Um, unfortunately, the kind of flights are all rolled up, so I don't know if they're supposed to be like that. But I guess we'll find out. But yeah, check these out. They're cool looking. And then you're going to get this little piece that goes on the front of the bow, which I think the arrows go on. And of course, you're going to get the bow itself. Now, of course, it does not come together. So we're going to just have to put these pieces on, which are pretty simple, right? A little groove here. So you're just going to slide that piece down into the groove. Oh, so the string keeps moving on it. That should just slide in like this. Now does it come off? No, oh, no. No, once that's in there, I don't think that's going to come back out. And then we're just going to get this piece in here. It fits. There's a little tongue and groove piece there. I don't know if you can see that right there. And then there's a little notch right there. And then this little groove here is just going to slide into that piece right here. Now, the tricky part is, can I do this with glasses on? Oh yeah, I can. Ah, okay. Huh. Kind of looks like the uh, blazing bow a little bit, doesn't it? A little bit. Oh, geez, that's a little tight fit there. That's the little button you're going to push when you uh, want to fire your arrow. Anyway, we're going to get this piece on here. This is just going to screw on like that. Apparently. There it goes. Come on. Yeah. There it go. That's on there pretty good. <laughs> okay, there we go. And you know what? Doesn't look too bad. Okay, so now that we've got a good look at it, I'm, I can already tell this is probably not going to act like your average bow. I have a feeling when I pull this back, it's going to act like a Springer uh, blaster, I guess you could say, and actually prime itself. So, let's see. Yep. There you go, right? And I just hit the button. So there you go. Yep. See? So it's a priming style kind of bow, and it probably, when I press that, there it goes, right? That's very, very sensitive, that button. Uh, let me tell you, I'm not even barely pushing it. <laughs> and it's already letting it go. So probably because it's new, I'm going to have to work it in a little bit. But for right now, that is a very sensitive trigger. So <laughs> just remember that if you ever get this and you go to use it, uh, yeah, that, that trigger button, that's very, very sensitive. So um, well, up, up the top here, we got some arrow holders, it looks like. Now, unfortunately, you only do get three of the arrows, but you got room for six. So those fit in really well, and it looks like, yeah, they're not going to move once they're in there. Now, I will load up one arrow indoors, just to see what it's going to do, because I'm very curious. That's just going to, oh wow, that flies over very easy. Now I'm going to keep my hand off that trigger because I don't want it going off. So I don't want it to. Oh, that already popped out. So maybe I'm going to want to prime it then load that on. Okay, let's see what this will do. 
Okay, so that didn't go very far. Um, just being honest, it did not go very far. So I don't know if I'm doing... Maybe I gotta hold this down and let go. Yeah, no, don't think so. All right, well, you know what? I am gonna have to take this outside and just see what I can do with this. Because what that just did, I'm a little nervous. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, as you can see, we're outside, and of course that means there's going to be a little bit of noise, but we're out here to try the Nerf Rip Rocket bow and arrow set. Uh, let's see what this thing can do. Now, it says on the box that it can shoot up to 50 feet. I don't know. I'm not thinking so. <laughs> but anyhow, we'll see what it can do. So, let me try back here. They do slide on very easily. Not too far. Well, I went about almost 20 feet. Maybe the more I use it, it might get better. Let's take a few more shots. Let's see if we can at least hit the target. I think it's only 30 feet away. As you can see, I don't know, I got maybe 20 feet out of it. So I don't know if it's maybe just the plunger's not working right. See that? Might have to loosen that up a little bit more, but who knows. But we'll talk about that a little bit more inside. See you in a minute. Okay, as you can see, we're back inside with the Nerf Rip Rocket Bow and Arrow Set. Now here's the thing. Uh, as you can see, performance, not the greatest, and that's probably because these arrows, yes, the, uh, the tips of them are uh, the foam that you would find on the actual darts. That's what it feels like. But the actual arrow piece itself is just plastic. So, I don't know. It's probably, <laughs> that's probably why they just, you know, front dive, and probably because these two are wrapped up the way they are. Um, but I don't know. Uh, the thing is, guys, I paid $50 for this thing. $50 for this bow and arrow set. And I really wish I didn't. Um, because, I mean, it's cool that it's a bow and arrow, and it's cool that it's Nerf. It's just $50 for this? Really? Um, you know what? You can have a lot of fun with it. I get it. But $50 for this? Uh, well, that's $50 for me. Anyway, but, I mean, come on. <laughs> Yeah, for fifty dollars, don't don't do it. Uh, there's just way way better Nerf things out there for fifty dollars. Now it's, it's cool, like I said, that Nerf has a new bow, and I love bows. Like I am a big Nerf bow fan, but uh, not in this one. But this one, this this is just not this is not worth it at all. Really, I mean, the only really good thing I could see people doing with this bow is modding. Um, because it is an actual prime bow. So you are able to prime it and then fire, right? So I could see people maybe upgrading the springs in this and having like shoot it real rockets, right? So other than that, for $50, guys, pass on this for sure. Uh, go get, there's, like I said, way more, way more nerf classes out there that are, that are much better than this. I'm sorry, I'm just being honest, and that's what I do. I paid my own money for this, okay? I paid out of my pocket for this thing, and like I said, I wish I did. Anyways, uh, thank you very much for watching. Make sure to leave in the comments below what you think of this bow. Make sure to leave that like, because it definitely helps out our channel a lot. Make sure to subscribe, because that helps out even more. Always have one of those blasters, and keep on nursing. What do you do?